Ulanzi camera cooling fan. Yes, but why? It's a Ulanzi. Is it a pizza pie? No, it's an Ulanzi. Have you ever had the overheating sign appear on your Sony camera? Not a great feeling, right? So some genius people came up with the solution for those who didn't buy the FX3 because they wanted an EDF or the FX3 was not around yet. I digress. The solution, a big fan stuck to the back of the camera. How would you stick a big fan to the back of the camera, you ask? This is Ulanzi's camera cooling fan. You can use it on basically any of the Sony mirrorless cameras out there. Ulanzi decided to go with the suction cups. I was kind of disappointed and when I got the thing and tried to stick it on the back of my A7S III, the thing wouldn't stay on at all. It would just fall. All my dreams of shooting with it on a gimbal and not care about it fell to the floor like a camera fan with suction cups. But then I decided to rummage through the box that came with the Olanzi and shockingly, at the bottom, under everything, there was more. Two adhesive plates and a how-to booklet. Aha! Uh -huh. Once added the sticker on the back of the Sony, the Olanzi sticks much better. Must clean suction cups. Well, first, and apply pressure for a few more seconds so you make sure that the air is gone and it's on. We tested it and got the A7S III to hit up to 50 degrees Celsius in a 26 degrees Celsius environment. We started the fan and reduced the heat by 10 degrees in a very short time. You can skip to the next test. On our new A7 IV that managed to get to 40 degrees pretty fast compared to the A7S III and we started the fan and got it back to 32 degrees Celsius in a very short amount of time. I'm very happy with these results. It has two speeds. I never felt compelled to use the second one. I guess you can use the second speed to get to lower temps faster and then turn to first gear to keep it there or turn it off to have no sound. The display is clear and explicit. It is very sturdy. I tested it by accident twice. It has an internal battery that keeps for two hours and a half on second gear and can be charged on the go. It is not very loud. Then if you have a mic that's directed towards you, you would pick it up. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't pick it with a microphone that's set to sh shoot whatever it's in front of the camera. No, you can't, of course, but the mic here yeah. can, and no one's gonna do this, you know. And let's do it second speed. Yeah, I still can't hear anything. It's definitely less loud than the light. It is. I can hear it. Like if it's directed at me, I can yeah, hear it. But you're very close. Like if but I'm if I'm like this, like yeah, camera. look, like this, and like this, yeah. like this, like this. There are, of course, other manufacturers who found that screwing the fan to the cage would make it safer, and I agree, but for 20 bucks, Ulanzi is giving us a good device. That brings me to the only con I found for this fan. The way you set it up with the camera is weird, and I don't know if the applied sticker doesn't make the camera run even hotter without starting the fan. Overall, the fan does its job and it will help me out in summers when the temps are high and the camera must shoot continuously. Thank you for watching. Hope this is helpful for you. And if it is, leave me a comment down below. Push the like button if you liked it. Subscribe. See you in the next one.